Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 4 video. In this video, I'd like to speak with you uh, in regards to random events and why you should be doing those. And also, I'll show you my route between four favorite uh, events that are pretty much easy to do, apart from one. One sometimes could be super unlucky, but I'll mention uh, it once uh, I'll be talking to you in regards to my uh, route and by the way uh, if I mispronounce something or anything uh, or confuse the word for example I do apologize for that I am from Ukraine sometimes I do mispronounce stuff so random events they appear all over sanctuary and you want when you do them first of all you earn ovals ovals is a currency that you use in order to gamble and I've uh, <laughs> understood that through gambling you get a lot more legendaries than if you would go to a dungeon for example besides when you gamble you can select what you want to gamble for a dagger a one-handed sword two-handed sword pants rings jewels whatever right and you have a chance of getting uh, a legendary I already actually started doing series for the gambling per day right uh, today you should have seen already my second gamble video and you can see the results by yourself basically and it was very generous to me so uh, it's one of my favorite ways of getting legendaries and of course while you're doing the events you also have a chance to get legendaries right but not only legendaries uh, you also get the gems so these gems right here it's a pretty decent amount of gems right <laughs> and I really love these ones they give me thorns works really good with my barb uh, so basically what I was getting at is that uh, these gems, right, they will start uh, dropping once you hit level 15. If, yeah, because level 15 is required, and once you're level 15, only then you will start earning these gems, right? And then, obviously, once you hit level 20, you can upgrade them at the gem guy and do your gem slotting, whatever, right? So, once again, events, really nice to earn obols, and by the way, if you plan to start, you a second character for example I would recommend to max out your obols to 500 uh, because when you start your uh, other character these obols they roll over to your other character basically he has access to your obols he has access to your gold he has access to your stash so I'll make a separate video on that uh, so it's actually pretty cool and on top of everything else you also get to earn a whole bunch of resources as well that is that thing is randomized and obviously once you're trying to run to the uh, random event you can also pick up like you can mine those ores you can pick up those plants you know and these plants what I use them for is to create the consumable elixirs that give me a boost so for the bar I'm already running out. I'm using this one right here. Wick Iron Barb Elixir increases the armor by 50, thorns by 25, and experience by 5. And there's a lot of different versions of these elixirs. They give you a whole bunch of different bonuses depending what you want to craft, right? And they give you a 5% to XP, which is really nice if you're trying to level up. And speaking of level up, the events... Uh, I created a second, I'm not sure if I already said that, but I created a second character, Rogue, today, and I live streamed it. So basically, I've leveled up my Rogue from 0 to 25 within 5 hours. With, well, obviously, he had some access to some benefits when he was created to my legendaries and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is exciting, right? I mean, right? Comment down below. Now, let's get to my route. So, when I kick off the game, I usually start in this location so I would run into this area right here there's an event popping pretty much all the time and it's a bunch of uh, undead or sometimes you gotta protect the guy and the undead are coming or you have to like save save souls but undead skeletons again so you've it's actually it's like uh, I would say medium difficulty I would put it that way it takes time, but it's let's say it's medium. Over here, there's another event. So basically, from here, I would run over here, and there's another event over here. Uh, and mainly, it's uh, you gotta protect like some hostages 
while they're trapped and all these werewolves are trying to eat them and you gotta kill them before they eat the guys and if you master the event by the way there is mastering or no master so if, if you complete the master part right so if all of them survive then in that case you will get 20 uh, 35 obols if you if one if one of them dies essentially you fail the master so you will get 20 obol and maybe maybe it has a chance in terms of you getting legendaries I'm, I'm not sure but anyway from here I jump and there are others a lot more easier events like you gotta st stand in a circle while some blood is being drained out or you're being attacked you gotta like kill them all uh, and so basically events here but my favorite one is right here and I think everybody does that because I've seen tons of people doing this and it resets us so fast so uh, when I jump away from here I would start doing this one uh, there are a few and they're all pretty much easy very easy and once I'm done with this one I run over here and over here there's sometimes a hard one which is pretty I pretty much fail the master all the time uh, basically that's there's gonna be a boss he's gonna be protected you gotta kill those wizards that's protecting him then you try, try to kill him then he summons even more mages and they protect him you gotta kill the mages then you gotta hit kill him and then there's a timer and if you don't <laughs> do it in time uh, well that bubble pops off he's all of the units are no longer protected including the boss you finish them off and you get your 20 ovals but if you manage to kill him on time then you'll get your 35 uh, also, uh, there is a cellar over here. It's another type. You can't see it right here. Maybe I'll show you once I'll do the run. Uh, it's a cellar, so basically you go inside, and sometimes, uh, if you're lucky, you can trigger an event which also rewards you obols. And it takes a lot less time to do uh, than doing events, for example. Right? So that's uh, how it is. So let me kind of show you uh, the route if you if I mean from here it's more than easy to uh, kind of like understand my route so if you want to watch from this part feel free to keep watching if you don't want to watch well thanks all for watching I hope you enjoyed the show and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity and uh, yeah if you subscribe welcome to Z clan and I'll be creating the clan as soon as the game, this game kicks off so you're more than welcome to join us. Oh, I, I need to edit my skills. I messed up somewhere. So we came to our first and we have the event available. So over here you'll need to kill these things real fast, right? So there are going to be three things that you need to destroy. And as I said, I'm dead. So once you destroy them, uh, then... A boss will appear, well, sort of boss, an elite enemy. You kill him, and the event is done. So now the boss appears, we finish him off. And then you get to pick up the chest. So bam, 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 bam. So from here, I would take this path over here. Jump. forward jump over I have to do this thing run downwards and then you're here Oh, someone already did it. <laughs> Sometimes this happens is a pretty cool moment. Like, you don't have to do this, right? So it's really nice. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. So from here, I would fast travel over here. And do the up uh, event. And as I said, uh, as I've mentioned over during my speech of all the events, that this is my favorite one. If you want to, you can just simply do this one. All you gotta do is you uh, beat the event and you fast travel to this location, you run up again. If the event isn't there, uh, then just fast travel again. Com I don't know why it comes uh, becomes available so many times. By the way, with this ghost, 
not everybody for some reason understands. So you need to follow him all the way till the end, right? If you are not in the circle, the ghost uh, kind of like he's not going, and that's not good because uh, as you can see, we've got the mastery find their loved one before the time runs out. So if you don't follow the ghost on time until he comes to his final destination, you fail the mastery. And in that case, uh, you will get less rewards, basically, in short. <laughs> so we've completed, pick up all the stuff, and then I would run to the cellar. And do the cellar over there you see that one right there oh, hold on. this thing right here crusty mine cellar I do that one but I'm not gonna do it on this video so then I run down run through this little path over here and we get another event boom and someone's already doing it so yeah, sometimes that, that, this is me being super lucky right now. Usually uh, I start the event, but this is me being super lucky right now. Or maybe because more people are playing right now, that's why. So from here, you can just fast travel back here and repeat this circle. Now, when I repeat this circle, right, and for some whatever reason, uh, I go up and there's no event there. I go down, there's no event there. Then I would fast travel back to the main base and go here and here. Uh, and then I come back here again. Because sometimes it does happen that uh, there are no events. But usually this event always reappears. Like usually. Let's see if this is the case right now. And as I you can see, wait. this is not the case right now. Usually, as I said, it reappears. Then I would go down, check if the event over there is available. If not, then I would fast travel and do the other two but for the sakes of this video let's uh, do one more jump to show you that that event usually responds a lot quicker so now we're back here and someone has already finished the event this guy right here so let's go back over here fast travel <coughs> Go back up. I must wait. There you go. Event. Hello. <laughs> so it's that it's that simple to be honest. So I think I'll, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, feel free to comment, just don't swear, simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Sol from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. And uh, if you want to join our clan once we uh, kick off this game in June, if I'm not mistaken, right? Then uh, join our Discord. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cr creating chats over there, so definitely that will be something of interest. And anyway, for more Diablo 4 videos, stay put, and I will see you all later. You all have a good morning, day, and night. And by the way, a huge thank you to all my Z-Clan Dragons who are supporting me financially through the paid subscription on YouTube. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Bye.